Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Monday night, and I am absolutely knackered after a full day's, uh, day of work. So, um, I'm quite excited to get back to this, but apologize if I apologize if I'm not like super on point with everything. Anyway, um, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the previous two videos. Um, if you're just tuning in, if this is the first time you're watching, then uh, we are playing an Achilles campaign. Uh, we've got the Radius mod on. We're playing Mythos, and we're right at the beginning. So I would suggest going back, go back, uh, going back. Jesus, I can't even speak. Uh, and watching those previous videos. There's an intro video on there, and then there is also a couple of episodes of the campaign. So uh, yeah, go watch that if you haven't already. Um, it'll provide some insight. Anyway, where we left off, uh, we did a siege battle, and we did a second siege battle um, where we raided Histea. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, however you would pronounce that. Um, and we looted a bunch of their stuff. Um, and now we have a load of things that have happened. So, uh, mood swing. Achilles' blood boils. Uh, Achilles' mood shift. So, indignant has changed by 10% due to sp time spent in camped or garrison. So, if we go up here to hot blooded Achilles, you'll see here that his indignant trait um, has increased. And so when his mood reaches 100%, he'll have a mood swing which will affect his army and his faction. Uh, ah, okay. Um, Self-indulgent rivalry um, will get plus 30% to all resources, which is damn good. Plus 10% to happiness, but then we will get minus influence and minus 40 to deal evaluation for all the diplomatic agreements. So this doesn't matter too much because we're not really looking at diplomatic stuff right now. The influence is a little bit annoying, but the resources and the happiness is very well... Um, fair, that is that is that is good. We want that. I think stone is going to become really important for building buildings. So I think maybe we go for stone per turn. So we've got an unassigned skill point for Achilles. Achilles we actually, champion. we've got two for him here. So armed by Hephaestus, plus sixty to melee damage per hero, or plus five melee attack. So melee attack is how often his hits will connect, I believe. And damage is how much damage each hit does. I think we should go armed by Hephaestus. Because this is good, but also he was historically armed by Hephaestus. That would be quite a good way to go. Also, we don't really like Ares. Ares is a bit of a, a, a knob, honestly. Um, and if you are in for the long haul on my YouTube channel, you will know that we played God of War and we actually killed Ares. Um, so canonically in my brain, Ares doesn't even exist anymore. So let's go with... That's a massive spoiler, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think we should go with the melee damage. Okay, so where do we stand? Well, I've got what it takes. our army is I'm quite surprised. battered. We could take his stair, we could occupy it, but I just don't think there's any point right now. Um, they are absolutely, you know, just depleted. Like, we don't really need to worry about them. They've got no armies. They're going to have such a weak economy because we have just sacked them. We could... Make it our mission to sack Serenthos as well. But um, you can rely on me. I think what we'll do right now... My what's this? We can march back. Yeah, let's march back. And Ready Automaton... We'll just bring him right here as well. Off we go. So we'll heal these dudes. And Son then maybe we'll deal with the... Um, Eddie Cosios. Eddie Cosios. Eddie Cosios. Um, I think this is for the Cerberus quest. Um, so we could maybe give that a go. But I don't know. Uh, we don't... I don't know if we want to want to be friends with Hades, really. Um, throwers. Javelin throwers are always fun. They don't cost very much, and they're very good flanking units. Um, we don't really have a whole lot of ranged options right now. I mean, what can we... Oh, we can't actually recruit anything in that stance. What can we... Our ranged options are only slingers at the moment, so maybe that would actually be worth getting, but it doesn't seem... I don't know if I want to take up an entire building slot just for javelin throwers um seems a little bit excessive okay temporarily this will be fine but um we'll probably want to build that in a, higher, a higher tier settlement at some point who are our, like good friends at the moment we've got ithaca uh, quite far away my cd we don't really want to be dealing with any of them yet um narikos we have Packed with, and they're they're actually friends with everybody around them. 
So they might be quite good to uh, maintain. I kind of want to take this. No, not this armor. Which is the armor I want? I kind of want the, to take this, but I don't really want to risk going to war with these boys just yet until we know exactly what we're dealing with. Um, we'll just do some more raiding, build up our economy, and see how it goes from that. Automaton, motivation critical. So we will want to garrison him. That will uh, increase his motivation. Mood swing. Uh, he's indignant, is increasing. Blood boils. Yeah, yeah. But he is 50% indignant now. So we want to be a little bit careful of this because we are running low on influence and we kind of want that influence, honestly. There's only six of these guys, but they are like really tough. So let's recruit some more lads, I think. So, okay, let's get you in the side. And Eager give for you. Him. On our right. way. Sit in there. Man and he will guard us from anything his stay tried to do, but I really don't see them <laughs> making much of That's a comeback here. Me. I mean, we could take over this province, but I'm just worried about what that'll mean for um, the Elopians. Maybe we want to send them like an embassy of some sort. You can just encamp for a little bit and we'll recruit some lads. I know he's not going to be happy in camping, but uh, we kind of just need it right now. These guys will just sit and shoot us. They have some very strong bowmen, so I think what we want is probably... We could even maybe go for some centaurs. I mean, we just go for some light spearmen. I kind of like the idea that we have a bit of a mishmash of an army, just a bunch of random different types of troops shoved in there. Some light spears would be good because at least they'll still be mobile. 38 speed compared to... No, we want... Right, this is the plan. We go light swordsman. And we're going two light spears. Spears, yeah. Okay. What else do we have to deal with? Construction. Yeah, so... In... I think boat stands are a good, a good show, honestly. Like, we'll get that growth in. There we go. So we got a new mission. Start to 20 units in a single army and we got some stuff for that. Right, how are we looking, Achilles? Ultimate okay, we're not warrior. fully healed, but I think we can probably they won't get through. Um, deal with this. It's 15 to 6. I think we have a good chance of doing this, but I am worried about taking a lot of casualties to their incredibly strong archers. The other problem here is they're not actually in our territory. And I don't really... I mean, break out the good wine and let's talk. I don't really want to encroach on their territory if we can. Oh, we have military access. Okay, that's fine. Never mind. Let's see. So obviously it is in our favor, but considering the numbers here, that is actually a still a significant amount of power that they have. This map doesn't look too difficult, but they will be a bit higher up, and we will be attacking them. So maybe, yeah, there's some flanking will have to happen here. So he, we don't have to worry about so much. He's just a normal dude, but. Wretched Shades, they are, I mean, look at that health, 16,000 health compared to our standard Spearmen. Um, oh, it's not so bad. What's the melee defense? 60? Uh, yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, but these guys are horrible. 190 range compared to our Slingers, which have 160. They ain't, they ain't gonna route. Like, wow. Constant buff around themselves, 25% damage. Ah, this is going to be really hard, but uh, let's do it. Ooh, fog. I don't think waiting is going to change this. Rain. Take longer to recover from fatigue. They don't have to worry about fatigue. Dry. Okay, this is what we want. Not fog. Jesus. Fog for fighting archers is just not, not a vibe. Okay, this isn't so bad. So they are literally just positioned down there. So we have some seriously good flanking options available to us here. And we can use this forest to hide from them. So and I'm kind of giving them this slightly unhinged formation because I want them to just... I don't know. Like They're not like super ordered warriors. They are good, but they're not like, you know... They're not Romans, basically. <laughs> right, and our light spearmen, I think, will have flanking over here. So these guys, maybe we can move up through the trees, actually. That would be probably better, wouldn't it? Let's chuck them. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> right, slingers. Absolutely, yes, we want you here. Maybe we'll get the swords to come up around here. Now, these champions, I am very worried about. We will probably just keep these in reserve. Because they don't have shields. They are going to take a serious beating. Okay, let's go. They are not moving at all. So we're just going to walk up 
here like this. You guys, I want you to just come here. What was their range? Their range is pretty, pretty stonking, honestly. Oh dear, they're moving. Are they gonna get in range now? Okay. We'll be all right. We'll be able to hide in here. So as far as they know, we only have guys over here. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so as conservative as we want to be here, we want to try and form a defensive line along here in which we can just charge them. It's a bit of an odd position for some bowmen to stand. <laughs> it doesn't look like they have the best uh, range here. Look at these guys. They are creepy. They are very creepy. This guy... Though, I kind of wish they'd made a general that was like a shade as well, because he's just, just a bit weird. Right, we're going to pivot, essentially, and we're going to go like this. We'll just, just check our champions here. Yeah, for now, like, they can come up if we need them, but I don't think we'll need them, honestly. Uh, like, they are very killy. Right, it looks like we are ready. Everyone is in position. Guys, to shoot the bows. And Achilles is gonna just beeline straight for that commander. These guys can come around here. And this lot. I just want these guys to come straight in like this. Let's go! So there's the first volley, and they didn't do loads of damage, actually. It was not. Oh, now they're getting hit. Look at that. Look at that health drop. That is pretty brutal. Children. Get him out. Oh yeah, and we're going to be able to engage uh, these guys right here. These archers, we've really trapped them in here. This is a very, very good. Um, this is a very good flank. Okay, how are we doing, Achilles? Yeah. Oh, he's actually getting um, slapped a little bit there. Victory! Is close enough to taste. Oh yeah, we are pretty much just completely lines. owning them. Spears, no we will have to kill literally all of them though. How's the kill he's doing? He is taking some hits, but he's, to run away. he's in a bush. You stab that bush. Yeah, he is winning. Of course you're running. So the enemy lord is fleeing. Achilles, get in there. Uh, and we'll get our oh, horses to reach us down the lord, I think. I think we'll just we'll just shoot him. <laughs> Honestly. No, that'll probably... He's got 12 health left. Pile in, lads. We got him. Good job, everybody. Good job. Not for much longer. Damn. There he is. Yeah, we'll finish these shades off. Pretty, pretty damn swift, I think. Wow, that was an absolute... Yeah. Dogpile. <laughs> he stopped him. Why did his head fall off? On our way. So, mission successful. Defeat the Falling Heroes Army in battle. Yep. Um... So we can recruit Spearmasters of Elysium in the special recruitment pool now. Uh, we destroyed that faction, though they might return. Right, so they are... Yeah, they are raising armies now. That's not an option. Let's, let's put them in ambush, just in ambush. case. <laughs> you never know. Um, I don't think they're going to come for us, but hey. I think, actually... We probably don't need to sack these guys again. I think we could probably just take them. And that does put us in a better chance to fight the Abantes if we need to. So let's trade some bronze for some stone. Uh, bar agreement. Let's literally do like... We get 70, so let's do 10. 4. 10. What about 11. 15. 14. 13. 12. No, 11. That would be good to get that trade going there. 
maybe we want to get it with these guys as well. Although I'm a bit, I don't know. Break out the good wine and let's talk. They don't seem like they're in a very good position, honestly. I've got a feeling they're going to get wiped at some point. Though they, this is kind of our gateway to all of this sort of area of Greece. I think they will determine our friendship. All these guys are happy with us. Everyone likes Achilles at the moment, generally, apart from these guys because they're just. Not, Son nice. Of a goddess and a king. Not nice lads. I think, honestly, we want more unit experience and more line of sight. That's going to help us in this in the defense of this. Uh, let's do it. And uh, Maybe we don't need to take the summon yet. Maybe we could just do some raids. I don't know. I'm, I'm indecisive about that. We will go I haven't down done anything. Charity details. I want to view your thing. Why does... When will your... How do I view your... Stuff. Details, maybe. Lawful. Motivation if this hero occupies a summon. Motivation if this hero ends a turn garrisoned. So, that's fine. He'll be fine, though. Just um, let's end the turn. And these guys are just... Comp they're neutral. They're literally neutral. Why are they declaring war? This is what... This is something that frustrates me a little bit about this game. I don't understand why they do this. Like, why have these guys declared war on us? They literally have no reason to do that. It's such a random, like... Ugh. Oh well. I guess we'll deal with that now. The Olympians want a peace treaty with us. I am absolutely not accepting a peace treaty with these guys. Um... Because... Yeah. And... These guys have declared war on us? Why have you declared war on us? You're literally neutral. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I would actually quite like this area, but the problem with this is it means everyone else is going to start hating us now. Oh, here they come. Really? You're just going straight in? Okay. Uh, we could potentially defend against this. They do have some ranged dudes, which is not amazing, but we could probably deal with that. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. We've got a war with two friends now. Okay, let's do this. Oh, <laughs> this is not not good weather. Um, right, let's see. Oh god, they're really spread out as well. So, what is the best way to do this? Probably. Hmm. Maybe spearmen here. Spears! Oh god, this is not a good one. <laughs> Where are your bowmen? So we've got one bow, one bow, and then javelins. Javelins we don't have to worry too much about because they will have to get closer to us. So let's take some slingers here. And let's stick some spears, young spears there because we can try and lure them into an ambush if we do that. And then we can stick some more young spears, maybe like here. They will get sandwiched, but they'll get. This means we can flank them. We can use this little corridor here to flank them. Who's going to get hit first, do you reckon? I guess we'll find out. Okay, this is going to be a very painful fight. Okay, so it looks like these guys are going to be getting into this skirmish first. Um, we'll hit the young spears. Oh, our guys are going to start taking some hits as well, though, which is not ideal. Okay, charge. Charge. Yeah, no. Right, we're going to sandwich this unit. Here. Though, this is going to become a problem. <laughs> uh, our young spears here are absolutely... Yeah. I don't know. This is... What are you guys doing? I need you to shoot, please. Like, you're seriously wasting time here. Your hero is under attack. Okay. We've right one unit. This is, this is a start. <laughs> so let's hope these guys get around here and we can flank them. Okay, because we've got this flank off, that might do something for us, but I don't know. It's not looking amazing. The chaps around here. Okay, we need these slingers to really start hitting. I think these foes probably. Oh, well, I'm worried about those, this militia here, though. Are they gonna come for us? Yeah, that's not, not good. Not good. Run away. Right, we're gonna start cycle charging these spears. 
that is we're gonna lose if we don't stop doing that. We're, oh, this is, this is so bad. Oh god. No, don't flee. Okay, so we just routed a bunch of them. That's, that's good. They probably are gonna come back though. He's routed. Oh, I really need you guys to not route right now. You guys are just gonna have to fight. Oh no, this is so not good. You have lost a unit. The spears just outright died. Yeah, I've absolutely lost this. Which is a massive shame because oh, there was potential. There was potential. Take care. You are losing ground. I know. Forward we go. The foe is capturing your victory point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the freaking, the stupid decapitation, man. Close defeat. Yeah, that was close. Did they take it? They took it. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to go deal with that. Epic mission issued. Okay, so this is one of the big missions. Uh, we'll come back to this. So I'm looted. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this I'll now. Win or die I think we will probably that just be able to possible. absolutely slap them. To be fair. Of course. Kill them all. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just gonna auto resolve this. Maybe. I'm just gonna. That's too good. That's just too good to, uh, to pass up. Bring their deaths. <laughs> This place. Luckily, they didn't really do anything. <laughs> um, but this is kind of good because it means. See, now these guys, they condemn the war with these guys. It's not our bloody fault. Um, so we can take this settlement and get our um, region, region, province, I don't know what it is, um, consolidated. They won't get through. We are now going to have to recruit some lads for defense, I think. Maybe we could get this guy. Does this guy have upkeep? These guys don't have upkeep. They do have a cost, but no upkeep. Oh, we are absolutely recruiting you for defense. And let's get some, maybe some swordsmen. We'll start building up a defense army here for, for when this combat inevitably happens. Look, ha you Not guys literally chance. have no economy. How have you built up this army already? They have three lords. Wow, AI cheating, man. Uh, we did have some stuff here. So, epic mission. So, this is, like, the main story of this game, if you will. Um, so, every night, as Achilles lay in slumber, ruminous dreams tormented him with ill omens. Fitful dreams visit you each evening, disturbing your sleep with visions of bloody battles and murderous men that fade away at dawn's first light. You resolve to seek out your old mentor, Chiron, of the Horseman Tribes, who lives in seclusion in the caves of Mount Pelion. If one man can make sense of these portents, it's the wise tribesman who raised you as a son. So we have to move to this location here, it would seem. Yeah, I assume this is where uh, where he's from. Um, and the story of that is basically that Achilles was raised and trained by Chiron when he was like a teenager um, in the ways of just how to survive, how to you know, look after himself, how to fight. Well, not really how to fight, because he was already like a perfect fighter, but yeah, it's annoying. We had a, we literally had a non-aggression pact with these guys. Why is anyone angry that I'm at war with them? That is ridiculous. They broke our non-aggression pact. Barter agreement with these guys. This could be interesting because they, these guys are near Troy and they are not they are not friends with the uh, their neighbors. So they could maybe be um an interesting um, ally to have. Uh, like Medes. They want 200 bronze and one <laughs> one food for a bunch of stone. I'm actually going to accept that because we don't really need a load of bronze right now. Oh boy. Okay. We are a bit injured and our garrison is pretty weak. But I reckon we can absolutely do this. We just have to look out for these Axemen. Um, but if we can do that... I reckon we absolutely have this in the bag.
Oh, please don't crash. He just crashed. Oh, I was doing so well. <laughs> Your game's just crashed. Why have you crashed? We're doing so good. We're doing so good. Why? God damn it. <laughs>